Hello to everyone. I'm Daniel Perez Fentes, head of the Endourology Unit in Santiago de Compostela, Spain. Thanks for the invitation to participate in this session together with my friend, Dr. Venchu from Canada. Ureteral stents are very commonly used in urology to drain an obstructed cholecystic system, mainly due to stones. Although many improvements have been made in the last decades, still many unmet needs remain, namely encrustation and patient tolerability. An encrusted stent loses its drainage function, leading to complications such as pain, infection or loss of the renal function. Therefore, it has also a negative impact on patients' quality of life. In the most complicated cases, multiple or combined surgeries are required to remove the stand, needing longer operating times, lengthy hospital stays, thus entailing a higher risk of complications and consequently higher costs. The cause of incrustation is multifactorial. It includes factors related with the patient urine, such as composition, pH, the presence of bacteria, with body chemistry and with some medical conditions of the patient, such as history of stone disease, pregnancy or the use of chemotherapy. There are also factors related with the stand itself, such as the indwelling time, the surface material or some additional properties. Regarding the stand material, multiple bench studies have shown silicone stands to encrust less than polyurethane stands. Three stands have an innovative design using Percushield, among other properties that my friend Ben Chu will speak about later on, I'd like to highlight that Percushield minimizes the surface irregularities of the stand and has no hydrophilic coating. It has been demonstrated that the fewer the irregularities on the stand surface, the lower the likelihood of salt adhesion. Another stand property that might lead to encrustation is the use of a hydrophilic coating. Hydrophilic coatings have a higher surface energy and can absorb liquids. However, three stand surface is hydrophobic, which lowers the surface tension, making it unreactive to aqueous solutions. Three stands have been compared to cooked silicone stands, showing a 48% reduction of salt accumulation in sterile urine models and 14% in bacterial infection models. The same comparison has been made against another silicone stand, the coloplast imaging. Here, a 52% and 45% reduction of salt accumulation has been demonstrated in sterile and infection models, respectively. Besides reducing the stand incrustation, improving patient tolerability to stands is of utmost importance, since many patients on stands will find their quality of life significantly worsened. TRIA has a wide range of sizes, lengths and comes in two versions, firm and soft, to help adapt to different patients. TRIA stands are stiffer during placement to help in the insertion, but they soften by over 40% at body temperature to promote greater patient tolerability. Again, TRIA has been compared to other stand options in terms of stiffness. For instance, Tria Soft is 89% firmer than the Coloplast Imaging and 72% than the Cook Black Silicone to help in the insertion, while its softness at body temperature is equivalent to these two stands. The insertion of both versions of Tria Stand, firm and soft, is very easy. You don't need to use a dedicated or specific guide wire to slip them into the ureter and the radiopacity of the stand, as you can see in the video on the left-hand side, is adequate for fluoroscopic control. And, most importantly, we haven't come across any difficulty or incrustation in the stand removal so far. Thank you very much for your attention. And now, I'm eager to listen to my good friend, Dr. Venchu from Canada, speaking about more innovations and his experience on TRIA stands. Thank you very much for this honor. I'm here to talk about encrusted and discolored stents. And as Dr. Presvent has said, really the top unmet needs are looking at patient comfort as well as minimizing incrustation on stents. This study looked at discolored stents and they found that patients who had a higher urine pH actually had more discolored stents. 
And the longer they're in, obviously, the more likely they are to become encrusted. This is an interesting case study I had. A patient was stented in another country, and part of it was outside of the urinary system, and part of it was in. And you can see that the part that was exposed to the urine actually got discolored, and the part that was not is perfectly fine. So why does it discolor, and is it clinically significant? So Dirk Lang, who's a PhD that I work with, and myself, we collected stents from both here and in Japan and looked at what was on it, what caused this blackening, and is it significant? Essentially, it's the sulfide in urine, and it combines with the bismuth bicarbonate in the stent, which is used as a radio pacifier, to produce bismuth sulfide. Bismuth sulfide is actually black, so that's why the stents discolor. Then we looked at whether or not these discolored stents, which had bismuth sulfide on it, whether it made any clinical difference in terms of bacterial or incrustation adhesion, and it did not. So it was purely a cosmetic change in the material, but the stent still functioned the same. So this brings us to the TRIA stent. And this has no coating, but it basically what it does is it has a percushield surface. Now, when you look at the actual surface under electron microscopy, and Dr. Presventis has showed us already on the silicone stents, that there is much less irregularities on the TRIA stent. It's a very smooth stent, and presumably this will also help reduce the amount of calcium salts and magnesium salts. And, and in fact, in bench testing, it actually did show that. When we look at whether it softens or not, when you put it into body temperature, the durometer or the softness or pliability of the material actually gets much, much softer, particularly in the soft version and even in the, in the firm version as well too. And when you look at whether or not there was decreased calcium and magnesium salt adhesion, there certainly was compared to other stents. So we know that the TRIA stent reduces calcium and magnesium salt uh, accumulation, and it also softens quite a bit at body temperature. We really haven't done or haven't seen any studies yet looking at whether or not these are more comfortable in patients, but certainly uh, that would be a good study to do. So we do know that they get softer, uh, particularly the soft version, which is the one that I mostly use, and they get much softer and pliable at body temperature. And it is rated for a 365 day indwell, like most other stents are as well too. In terms of inserting the stent, I find it actually very similar to placing other stents. In my experience, it really feels very similar to placing a Polaris Ultra or a Percuflex, which were the two stents we were using before this. Despite not having a hydrophilic layer, the Percushield coating is actually quite slippery. So inserting it, in my experience, has really been quite easy to do and uh, it goes over a regular sensor wire. And um, in this video here, I'm actually inserting it through an 810 dilator. But inserting it, uh, it really is quite simple. And even though the soft one is softer, it's still quite rigid at room temperature and really is not difficult to insert at all. I know that some of the other previous generation of silicone stents, for instance, were a little bit softer, a little more difficult to place over a regular PTFE guide wire. But I find this one, both the firm and the soft ones, quite similar and very easy to place because they don't really soften until they get into the body temperature for some time. In terms of removal, I, I find that I leave the string on and I actually ask patients to remove it at home. A lot of studies have shown that patients prefer to remove it at home uh, if they can't get it done in an operating room under general anesthetic, but of course that uses a lot of resources and utilization. So I think that uh, patient removal has been very easy and both using cystoscopy or the suture removal string has been quite simple for patients. Thank you very much and I wish you a good Congress.